Good morning and happy Sunday. So I have lots to do today and I wanna get out the door really quick. This makeup is super fast. I'm gonna show you what I do. So I don't want a full face of makeup. I'm gonna be running around, dealing with furniture and that kind of stuff, right? So I'm just gonna show you. This is my blank slate. I washed my face, I cleansed it, I moisturized it, and all I did was I took my Ulta, this teeny tiny little brow thing, right? It's almost like brow, like tinted brow gel. I did that on my brows. Bam, done. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I have redness. You can see where my discoloration is. You can see where my redness is. I'm going to really quickly just kind of cancel that out. I'm gonna put a teeny tiny little bit of a semi-gloss color on my cheeks. Maybe a little bit of bronzer up here just for definition on my forehead and under here, maybe just a little, and that's it. That's all we're gonna do, okay? So, my name is Krista, I'm 42. I share Saint makeup, I have for over two years now. Love it, nothing better out there, especially if you have maturing skin. This is the cat's meow, especially if you have wrinkles. It is cream, it's all in one compact. These tins all are individual, so your compact gets built just for you. Make sure you get started with a color match at the link in my bio. You can just text me. It says there's a text button, click it, send me a text, say Krista, match me, and I will send you my color match quiz, okay? So I'm gonna take, I'm actually gonna take my detail brush, this right here, so this is cream. This is my main color. This is what you'd call your foundation. This is what I call my concealer. But all of these colors, we kind of range back and forth, right? Depending on how much um, sun we get or how much sun we lose. So what I'm gonna do is I'm taking this little bit of color. I'm only tapping it into my corners and a little bit over here where I have like the, the divot, right? underneath on our tired mom eyes and I'm pressing that in. I'm not taking any type of makeup and swiping it across. We never wanna swipe or wipe makeup, hi Tracy, across our um, wrinkles, ever, 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 because it totally just does the opposite of what we are trying to do is hide our wrinkles, right? So I'm gonna take this color now and this is where I'm just going to cancel out the red. I'm not going to do my whole forehead. I am picking up the teeniest, tiniest amount of makeup. Like it's so hard to even describe how small of an amount I am picking up. These tins will last you months and months. The cream tins are only $16. And if you're using the little bit that you should be, a little bit goes a really long way. So I'm just taking a little bit and I'm stamping and pressing it around, right? Kind of like buffing it onto my red spots and canceling them out. And I'm gonna do the same thing right in here, just a little bit all around here. But we're not gonna do everywhere. We're just working on canceling today. We're not working on full face makeup. I just don't wanna look red and puffy and, and crazy. I just wanna get rid of the redness, okay? So I'm actually not even going to really correct my whole cheek here. I'm just gonna get rid of the redness right here here in this center area. Doesn't it make my nose look like a beacon <laughs> since I didn't correct that yet? So we're just gonna keep doing this and it might take an extra minute or two, but what's gonna happen is you're gonna wind up with this super flawless finish because it's still our skin, right? We're not covering everything. If you wanna cover your little dark spots, you can do that, totally up to you. I'm not really even gonna go that far. And whatever is left on my brush, I'm gonna go over it like that and a tiny bit more for this side, just to get rid of the purples and the blues in there. I just don't wanna look tired. We wanna look awake, right? But we don't wanna look like we spent hours on our makeup because that's not what we're doing. So I have the redness here. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just counteracting it and what it does. So this makeup is all yellow based. If you have pink undertones like I do, do not let that deter you, please, because as you can see, my face doesn't look yellow or any more yellow than my neck. The yellow is to counteract the redness because so many of us have redness on our skin. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take Aspen, since my nose is so red, I'm gonna take Aspen contour first and kind of cancel out the red just a little bit to help out our foundation. So it's not going to take away the discoloration, it's just going to lower the amount of redness. And you can see it's not as bright, right? Our, our, what are we gonna call it? Our dimmer switch, we're dimming the beacon. So we're dimming it with our Aspen contour and then we're gonna go back in 
with the same color I just used on the other areas of my face. Good morning, ladies. Hi, Darlene. And I'm gonna tap over like this. Now here, I'm gonna get a little bit extra coverage because I need it on my nose, right? But we're not gonna look like we have loads of makeup. I'm not contouring and all the things today. Just basically correcting the redness on the center area of our face. Now, if you wanna go in and do these areas, I have so much melasma on my cheeks. You can see it right there. You can. I'm not really that worried about it. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a semi-gloss or a gloss creamy lip color, cheek color too, they double as lips and cheeks. I'm gonna use the same brush and I'm tapping into it. I'm gonna place that right there on my cheeks. So it's not like color, but it's like, oh, she has a little bit of a nice creamy, glowy flush to her cheek, right? Right there. And I'm staying, I'm staying away from my nose a little bit, right here on the apple, and I'm going back up that way. Since I'm not applying like color, it's okay if you come in a little bit further. It's basically just gonna give you a little, a little shimmer and shine, okay? And then, the same thing on my lips. You can use your, your multitasker brush if you want to for your lips, but it's just a gloss, so I think it's safe enough to use our finger. Just like that, and then, so sorry, I have a hair on my tongue. Um, what else do we do? You can use a little bit of your bronzer if you want to. Instead of contouring, right? If you want just a little bit of warm definition, you can just go right across here and above each eye and just warm it up just a little bit, just a little bit. So if you're just hopping on, if you haven't been on since the beginning, go to the text button in my bio. Just text me, it comes right to me. I will text you right back and I will match you. Just text me and be like, hey Krista, good morning, happy Sunday. Or you can just say, match me and I will send you back um, my color match quiz and I will get a color match back out to you this afternoon. So I'm just still taking the bronzer. I'm just kind of coming down this way just for a little bit of color. You can do a little bit on the tip of your nose if you want to because that looks natural, right? I don't look like I have loads of makeup on. It looks like I just have a little bit of color and I'm a little bit evened out. I'm gonna do a little bit under here and that's basically all she wrote. Other than that, if you need more help with your brows, you can go in with your line brush. I use, I just threw my makeup all over the place. I use this. This is my uh, eyeshadow color and it's called basic and I just like to fill in with it. You totally don't have to do this, but what I have found is when I use the Ulta, that little brush first, because it's like the gel or wax or whatever it is, and then when I apply my this over top, it really stays. So using the gel, the brow gel first, it gives it um, nice shape, and then I just kind of define it or finish it off by doing this. This is the best combo ever for your brows, especially this brush, because it has this teeny tiny little angled end. It's, it's like tiny, tiny, and it gives you a lot of control when you're doing this. Okay, filling in our brows is really important for our, our, our eyes and our face shape, and doing the powder over top of a cream is just key, I find, to making our brows stay. All right, now I came in too far with the other brow. Now I gotta mess with them and try and make a match. All right, so look, what I did was I was popping those colors out as I was using them and see if I can show you. So I pop my eyeshadow out of there and then I keep my Aspen contour over here. This is another lip and cheek color. This is my bronzer that I used and I keep it next to my Heat Waves bronzer. They're two different color bronzers. This was my foundation color that I used and pop it over there. And then this was my gloss, Summer Love, that I used over here for my lips and my cheeks. And these are lips and cheeks also. So you just get the colors that are for you and your beautiful face and what you need to counteract. And I match you to those colors so you don't have to guess anymore what you need for your face. And you don't have to spend money and on things that you might just throw away or that aren't good for your skin because it's all right here and I'll suggest a brush or two. And then I'm totally gonna suggest your setting spray to make sure, it's actually, mine is in here, to make sure your makeup doesn't budge, okay? Like this. 
like that. Not everybody likes a setting spray. If you don't like a setting spray, get the setting powder, okay? That's gonna make your makeup not fudge also. If you don't like the dewy look, get this setting powder because it's gonna mattify you and you might like that a lot better. But I find and that the setting spray gives us that dewy glow, right? Which makes us look more youthful. My skin looks 100 times younger than it did five minutes ago before I got started. All right, even with just that little bit of color correction. All right, ladies, so make it a great Sunday. That's what we're getting ready to do. We're all dressed and ready to head out and going to do some fun things, and I hope you do too. Make sure you get a color match if you haven't yet. Text me, DM me, whatever the case may be. If you just have some questions first about it, let me know. I'll send you all the info and graphics and to see whether or not it's even in your budget or anything else. If it's not in your budget, let's do a text class and get it for free. It's just that easy, all right? All right, I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out, and I will see you later.